Hey guys, welcome back. So today we'll be looking at one of the use case, one more use case which I got from one of my subscriber, and this use case talks about hiding the choice field when it has no option. So you also have faced this kind of situation if you have a dependent field, but not for each selection have option. So in that situation, what you can do, you can hide that particular field if there is no option available for that particular field, right? The dependent field. So. <clears throat> to get more clarity and to make you understand okay on the use case i will go to the incident table our favorite table as always so now we went to the incident table i will click on new and once you click so on incident table if you are familiar about with the incident module so you know there are category there is a field called category and there is a dependent field called subcategory so the subcategory field is dependent on the category field okay so for example if i uh, selected inquiry and health so for this particular category there will be subset of sub category which is mapped to it okay so you can see it's antivirus email and internet application if i change this value to software the choice will differ okay it's email and operating system in a similar way for hardware and for others also it differs so you can see it it got changed right but in a situation if for category there are no sub category map so you think uh, it makes sense that so have a drop down which is having only null value for example i have created a category called uncategorized so if i select this category and for this particular category i didn't uh, define any sub category so if i click on sub category then it will be null i don't think it's a valid option so the use case is like Okay, whenever we have a category, okay, uh, and for the subcategory, if we don't have any defined values, then what we want to do, we want to hide that particular field. Okay, so this is a use case, and this is a uh, I, I I'm doing uh, demonstration on the same because this is a day-to-day -day activity and day-to-day -day use case which everyone will be um, will be seeing in their projects. Okay. So for this, how we will implement it out? So for this, we will be going with the glide ajax, okay, glide ajax only with the um, with the uh, on change language, okay. So let's get started. So first of all, whenever we create a um, glide ajax, right, you you must be familiar that we start with the scripting tool. So let's start with the scripting tool. Okay, so I will create a new script include. Let's give it a name as as a um, what what name I should give as a uh, option validation option validation. Okay, let's give this name. I will make it as client callable. Okay, you can see. And now we got the signature for our code, right? Now we will define a function. So I will give the function name as as sub as sub category o as sub category. Okay, let's go with this name. Okay, I will make the e small. Okay, and um, let's create a function. Uh, I will create a function. <coughs> And if you know how to fetch the attribute, so what will be needing from the UI side? So first of all, what I will do, I will first zoom it out, so you will be it. It will be pretty easy for you to understand. So I will do variable choices equal to I will define an empty array. This is where I will be storing the choices if there are any choices. Okay, then I will pull out the category. So I will do variable. Category equal to this dot get okay and we'll give it as let's define a variable like this for a underscore category <coughs> this will be the attribute name okay which will be passing from the client script. Now let's go ahead and build a variable. Gr 
dictionary. I will just give it here text. And I will give it name to the new slide record. And we will do the blind record on discharge table. Because that's where the dependent field is defined by it. So I will try. Okay. And now we do GR dot add query. Add query and we will define it for dependent value. So we will check whether it's dependent on we want dependent value for the category which will be passing over here for the field which we will be passing over here, right? So dependent underscore value and we will give it as a category whatever we had. Then the next step is um, GR, let's make it more specific dot add query okay so i want it for which table you want it for so i will give it as me name and i will give incident okay what else we need so we will give gr dot dot add query and then we can have element and we will give what field we want to uh, we want to pass what is the dependent field so for us it's subcategory right so i will give the backend name for subcategory subcategory you see okay now we have that so what we are doing we are going to the dictionary table choice table we are checking the dependent value for category Okay, whatever dependent value for the choice which we got, table name and the element which will be for which particular field we are looking for. Here we are looking for subcategory, right? Then we'll do jira dot query. Sorry, my minute. Query. And then we can do while gr dot next. If any record exists, if it has any choices okay then we will do choices dot push and we will do dot get value gr dot value let's do okay so this is done and then we will return choices dot choice. So if if it has choices, then we will create it in a comma separate string. So that's why I'm doing the join with the comma. Okay. So this is how we have completed the server side script. Okay. So what we did, we created, we defined an array called choices. Then we uh, got the category from the client script. We'll be taking it from the client script. Then we have we glide this choice table. We have checked for category, table, incident, subcategory is the fit. And we took the choices. If if there are any choices present, then we are pushing it to choices, and we and then we join it with the comma. So this is done for this. Now. Let's do one thing. I will duplicate this up. Now let's create a conscious client script. So I will go on client script. Leave. And let's give it a name. Yes, sir. Choice. Okay, and it should be of type on change. Okay, which field it should be? So it should be on category field. So we'll make it category. Okay, uh, anything else? No, right? And then we can do we can go here in this case. And what we can do it will be simple. So, first of all, we have to do 
वेरिएबल हैज सब कैटेगरी न्यू लाइट एंड टेक्स एंड विल गिव द स्क्रिप्ट इंक्लूड नेम विच वी हैव क्रिएटेड टू ऑप्शन ओके देन वी हैव टू पास दूट सो वी विल डू कैटेगरी डॉट एंड पैर एंड इन दैट पैर वी विल अगेन गो टू दिप्टिंग टू वॉट पैरामीटर वी हैव डिफाइंड वी हैव डिफाइंड कैटेगरी राइट so we'll go here if you have not seen my glide activity you can go and watch it i'll give the description i will give you the link to the i button at the top so this okay this what do oh, i miss one thing so it like has categories dot as per and we have to call, we have to define which particular function we have to call right so i'll give this फंक्शन रियली हेज सब कैटेगरी फंक्शन सो आई विल This is done. Now we'll be passing the new value. Okay, value. Then the next step should be as the category dot get XML answer. Okay, we'll be, now we are uh, we are calling the script include. Okay, with we are passing the attribute. Okay, which was needed, and now we are getting a uh, we are defining callback function. So I will give it a process. Okay, process call back. I will give it a name. And the next step should be like function process call back. I'm just defining call back function, and it should have an attribute called answer. Answer. and uh, the next step is like if answer answer dot then is greater than greater than 0 if it greater than 0 then we don't have to do anything okay And we will do g underscore form dot set visible for which particular field or sub category, right? So for sub category, if if we have choices, then we don't want to hide, right? So we will make it true. If It doesn't have okay. So in L, if it doesn't have the value, then we'll set it to false, and that's where the use case gets completed. Okay. So I will explain you what we have done on the client side. So on the client side, we first call the particular script include. We have called the function name. So on the script include, okay, we have passed the new value to the category variable. And we have call back. We check whether the answer which we are getting, if it is length greater than zero, then we are we are keeping it as is. We are not we are not hiding it out. And if it it is equal to zero, means it doesn't have any option. Then we are setting it to false. Okay. So let's see if it works. So I have saved it. And now we will go to incident. 
then go and refresh the form. Okay. Now if we try to change the category to uncategorized. So you can see the subcategory got hidden. If we select something else, it will come up. Okay. And it has the attribute. So this was the use case. Okay. Hope you find it helpful. Okay. Now, thanks a lot Kalpana for bringing this up. Please drop a comment with the use case and if I feel that uh, it adds the value for all the user base, then I will try to create that tutorial on the same. Till then, stay safe, stay happy and have a nice day. Thank you.